everyone, my name is Lindsay Thurston and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hello YouTube. Just in case you're watching, in today's video, I'll be taking you along shopping with me at my favorite spot for designer home decor for less, Home Goods. Hey everybody, so I just arrived at Home Goods. I'll be sharing my best advice for looking for the most elevated, beautiful items on a budget. Restoration hardware definitely uses massive crystals to add that shine factor to a room. You can add it with such a small one. I'll also be sharing what you should avoid while at Home Goods. Yes, I have also made some purchasing errors there. Oh my God, you guys, they are so cute, but I have nowhere to put them. And I've learned from them, so I'm hoping that you can avoid those mistakes if I share them with you. In a past life, I bought way too many of these word signs. Before I begin, if you're looking for a channel to help you create a home that makes your day every day, this is it. So go ahead down below and click that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. Hi, I'm Lindsay Thurston. I live in Seattle. I'm a second grade teacher and I am just obsessed with home decor. I'm currently renting a three bedroom, two bathroom house with my boyfriend, Travis. Primarily my style revolves around mid-century modern with a little touch of bohemian and traditional mixed in. Luckily for me, my boyfriend sees very clearly the same direction and generally trusts me to make decisions about our space. First, I'm gonna take you along on my recent trip to Home Goods, where I will go aisle by aisle identifying things that look awesome, designer, and beautiful. I'll also be giving some advice on which aisles to skip and what to leave behind. Hey everybody, so I just arrived at Home Goods and I'm in the market for some natural material accessories to elevate the style of my kitchen. As you know, I live in a rental and I can't do any major renovations. I certainly don't want to spend a fortune. I want to make sure that anything I purchase is something that Travis and I can take with us if and when we move to another home and hopefully someday buy a home. So in a rental, my only goal is to bring in some of the colors and textures and natural materials that I want in a future kitchen. So follow me as I look through and see if I can find some treasures. All right, so I'm just gonna start here in the garden section, and this pot's cute, but mm, maybe not cute enough. I like this one. Black is always a good color. Tahari Home makes beautiful stuff, $24.99. But I'm looking to replace one that's black, and replacing it with a black, slightly textured one doesn't feel like much of a change. So I'm looking for a new pot to put our fiddle leaf fig in. And it's quite hard to find something. I mean, this is huge, but to me way too tall, but I like the white. Right now it's in this like small black container. It's just not working. And this white container is interesting. Made in Portugal. Um, it's nice and deep. I don't love the flower details. I will say it to anyone who will listen. I just don't believe in fake florals, but when you're looking at wreaths that will last, it's definitely a route to go. You just wanna be really, really careful with stuff like this because it's so plastic and fakey looking. I feel like a lot of the floral in general, you just want to stay away from. I could see doing like a branchy one. I almost kind of like the lavender, but again, if you get anywhere remotely close to it, just breeds just plasticky cheap. 
I personally would just stay away from all these floral greenery items. Okay, so I'm loving these. They definitely have that restoration hardware, stone, cement work, wooden frame vibe. And for the price, this looks like they were 100, now 60. House and Garden, established 1901, made in Vietnam. I think they're definitely pretty. I just don't think they're substantial feeling. I just don't think they're right for my fiddle leaf. I want something round. So I'd love to look at the rugs at home goods. And actually it was my last trip here that I found my dream rug for my living room, which I'll be sharing with you soon. So I'm gonna take a look at some of these and see if I can find anything for our family room. I'm not ready to buy something probably just yet, but I'm definitely interested to see what is available. sofa and we're moving some furniture around which is causing a need for a new rug in the family room this one is a steel handmade in India 8 by 10 199 my only concern is it's too pale in comparison to the pale sofa now this one is actually totally different than what I was looking for but I actually really love the colors very neutral but a little bolder and I think it'd be actually really pretty with this coastal all-white sofa and it's a good price but it's only five by eight so definitely way too small for that large room okay, so I'm in the home decor like accessory aisle and I usually do really well here where I find some great coffee table books and accessories but I'm still kind of looking for the right piece of driftwood or like wooden accent for my mantle so check this out. Okay, so funny story. I actually bought this one right there. It wasn't quite working, so I returned it. And I said to Travis at the time, I'm really looking for a beautiful piece of driftwood. And look at this. And it's only $29.99. One of the things I didn't like about this piece was that it had two pieces of metal holding it up. I don't know why, but something about that just never felt right to me. And at first when I bought it, it looked like a monstera leaf, but now it just looks too tropical for my home. But, oh, I love that. That's gorgeous, so tall, I don't know what I'd do with that. But this piece of driftwood, this is coming home. Some of the home goods hauls I watch have so many amazing displays of crystals. This is what my local home goods usually has. Usually very small and very few and very expensive. This tiny one is so pretty but it's $50. Just a little beyond what I will pay. Last time I came here I found a rose quartz for only $16 so that was my big find. Hey friends, Editing Lindsay here. I'll share that rose quartz during the home goods haul at the end of this video. This is gorgeous. It's like very neutral and beautiful colors. 25, it's definitely doable. But I feel like I'd want to hold out for something that's a little larger and still affordable. 
I love to use crystals to add a little bit of shine to a room without making it too glam. And I feel like Restoration Hardware definitely uses massive crystals to add that shine factor to a room. You can add it with such a small one for, you know, very little money and find that sort of look without going over the top like RH. All right, my friends, this is the aisle. You should just see it. I can't see a single thing in here that I really feel like elevates my space. I just maybe one very simple one in one spot in your home and that's all if you must try to stay away from work art. Way too farmhouse rustic. This is pretty. I think it's like Mediterranean. I just don't feel like it's large enough for the space. You now this round one. Certainly like that grassy kind of color. I'm into there's my overall sleeve. And thirty nine ninety nine. Oh no, forty nine ninety nine. So I don't know. I still feel like maybe I could find one for cheaper. And I also really like this. I just don't know if it's going to look right in that room. But it would be kind of cool to you know, put little candles on the ledge or something. I'm not sure yet. Alright, so now we're in the lamp section. I'm definitely attracted to like, the texture of this. But every time I come here, you guys, I always look at this lamp. I don't have anywhere for it right now, but I think it is so pretty. And I just love this bright white shade glass detailing traditional but then it's almost got this kind of boho almost like block print and this one's by Darby Angel or Agnel Angel and $49.99 so such a good price and so pretty and it's like a tall table lamp too it would be substantial in the room all right can we just say no to seahorse lamp like that's not happening no way we have so many of those. And I truly apologize if you've been looking for this birdcage lamp, but I just, no. I think there's just other ways to bring this sort of detailing in without making it into a lamp. If you're a pet owner like me, it's really hard to find pet beds that look good with your decor. I no longer have a cat or else I probably would be buying this woven basket cat bed, but it is darling. It also works for a small dog and it even has a little handle. So if you wanted to, you know, take it with you on a vacation, your pet would still feel like they were at home and $50 might be a little steep, but for something like this, it's going to last a long time. This is that kind of all weather plastic coated weaving really solid metal base. You could replace this cushion if it got worn out. I just like that is so chic compared to something like any other pet bed that's just gonna kind of look like it detracts from your room. This might actually look really pretty. Something to look for. One thing you can find here is really high quality brand name bedding for super cheap. Right now I'm looking for two shams, standard shams, to go on my bed in our master bedroom. And I'm looking for something that is pretty simple. I love the price because all these are a set of two for only $16.99, which is crazy. This one is more of an ivory white with like a grayish greenish stripe, mostly gray, but it definitely has a green tint. Very simple. I looked at that one last time. Now they have this one, Nicole Miller Home. This one is all white with a very pale gray or silver thread running through and it's got a little bit of a textured pattern. And then this is looks to be the exact same one but in beige instead of white. Now the duvet cover I'm working with has a bold solid color pattern, it's all white. Just don't want this to conflict with it but I feel like this would work best unless I wanted to layer more neutrals and every time I can never decide it might be time to take something home and experiment and this queen-size blanket is gorgeous 
Kitchen towels can be tough and they don't always have the best selection here, but and I don't like all these ones with worms. I'm sure you could have guessed that, but these are kind of chic. And they might look good with the new rug we put in the kitchen. Very simple neutrals. Yeah, no. This is a beautiful piece of framed art. And it is not cheap. It's $1.99. Mind the gap. And it is so interesting. It's on this like flax linen. It's got this date on the bottom, March 17, 19, Amsterdam. Anyway, just a really cool piece. It looks so cool at the top of my mantle. Just don't think it's exactly right, but it would be really cool in the room. All these interesting furniture pieces here. I just don't think gingham's right for my space. These are kind of cool in mid-century, although I'm not looking really for a wing bag. That pattern's too bold. All right, here's what I ended up with. Here's one more thing that I found while hunting around. A few things for the kitchen. And a really, really, really fun piece for the living room. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me on my shopping trip. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you a roundup of all of the things that I bought on this trip and I'm gonna add in a few other finds from recent trips all from home goods. All right so the first item that I want to share with you is this beautiful wooden tray. Now this was a steal my friends it was only $14.99 and it's got this tag right here it says natural wood tray you can definitely feel that it's wood because it's heavy and very substantial and it has a natural wood grain that you would only find in a real wood piece. I also really love the detailing right here. They've wrapped some like sort of raffia string cord there. I could remove that if I wanted to and I've actually considered it, but I really like that extra detail and it adds a little bit more of a handmade feeling to something that could feel really cookie cutter and could feel like you bought it at any store. This really elevates this piece and makes it feel like a beautiful handmade item that came maybe from a trip or something like that. Now I'm using this in my kitchen right now. Um, that's kind of what I was looking for as I explained. And this item I'm actually using to corral all the things in our coffee area. Travis and I do French press coffee every morning. We love it, but we have an electric kettle that's quite sizable. We also have a little coffee canister of coffee beans and the French press itself. So this will kind of work to corral all those items in the counter and make it feel a little bit more finished instead of cluttered. All right, the next item that I wanna share with you is this adorable little ceramic canister. You guys, this was a steal at $9.99 and it really brings that vintage vibe into what might otherwise be kind of a generic looking kitchen. I love this item because it feels vintage. It feels like I found it at an antique store. It says Main Street Bakery, fresh daily since 1954. So it definitely gives it that vintage vibe. And I definitely love anything in the black and white color story. I gravitate towards anything black and white. And this item fits the bill for coffee beans in my coffee area. So I'm thinking that's probably how I'll use this one. All right, my next great find is dish towels. These can really elevate your kitchen if you look for the right ones. I was super attracted to the neutral color story of this set. They were such a steal at $7 to $6.99. This is from Mi Casa S2 Casa, uh, made in Portugal, a set of two kitchen towels. They're a good size. They're 20 inches by 27 and a half inches. I hate it when they're too small to fold properly. And I like the little fringe detailing at the bottom. So just another little simple thing I can add to my kitchen to elevate my space. Okay, next up is my favorite thing that I found recently at Home Goods. So recently I was saying to Travis, we really need a natural wood piece for the mantle, for it to feel finished to me. And I found one piece, I think I showed it to you in the Home Goods shop with me. It was a giant leaf. And when I first saw it, I thought it looks like a monstera leaf. 
and I have a Monstera. Actually, we have two Monstera plants here. They are gorgeous if you're looking for a beautiful plant to elevate your space. But once I got that wood object home on my mantle, I lived with it for a few days, and I really, really found it just looked too tropical for my space. It wasn't mid-century at all, and it was really leading my room in a different direction. So it had to be replaced. I told Travis, I think a driftwood piece or some sort of natural live edge wood piece would be perfect. And I found it. So you saw me find this object. It's gorgeous, you guys. I love the colors. I love all of the natural texture. I love the staining that they did on this. I love that sort of live edge across the top. And I really like the single base. One thing I didn't like about the other one, the big leaf one, was that it had two bases and it just, for some reason, it just didn't look right to me. And I like that the base is black. Um, I think it really works nicely with the dark wood detailing. So this is most likely gonna live on my mantle. I'm working on a custom art piece to go above my mantle. And I found some vessels recently that are gonna go up there. And so I think this will kind of be the piece de resistance I think it will make it all come together and it will call to other wood pieces in the room. So I've been on the hunt for the perfect crystal to add to my home decor collection. Unfortunately, at Restoration Hardware, they can cost upwards of $17,000. They are wildly expensive, especially for larger or even just medium sizes. So I've been on the hunt at many of my home goods trips to different stores to see if I can find the right one for my space. It's been a challenge and although I watch other people's shop with me videos and they show these beautiful crystal sections with tons of options, my local home goods never has very many. But my friends, I hit the jackpot. I found this absolutely stunning rose quartz. It's shiny without being too shiny. It's glittery without being glittery, if that makes any sense. It's a nice size to lay on a stack of books on my coffee table. And the best part, the price. Did this cost 50? No. 20? No. $16.99. So this goes to show you, the more you go to Home Goods, you will find more and more items that you like and you might be lucky enough to find a steal like this. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and leave feeling inspired to try something new in your home today. If you liked this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up down below. It helps other design nerds like us to find my channel. I've got new home decor and DIY videos every single Sunday, so you'll definitely want to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. If you'd like to see more photos of my home, DIY projects, outfits, travel, other happenings in my world, you'll want to follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Lindsay Living, and there I share all kinds of day-to-day -day stuff, and sometimes I'll even ask your advice on what you might want to see in future videos. For those OG followers out there who know me from my blog, lindsayliving.com, I just want to let you know that I'm in the process of redesigning that space and trying to figure out what to use it for going forward. So if you have any ideas or requests, please leave them in the comments below. Until next time, I challenge you to find one thing you can do to improve your space this week. Good luck, everyone. See you next time.